Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial here on how to make your character's eyes blink. Um, this is a third person adventure game prototype that I was working on last year and it got backburnered for schoolwork and paying work. But uh, one of the things I wanted to do to kind of add to the polish and ambiance of it was to have the character blink and there was a lot of different ways you could tackle this problem. Animation was one of them. I opted to create a C sharp script and it's a really light script, really short, and it allowed me to organically kind of randomize the time between the blinking so that it looks really natural. I'm going to hit the play button here and we'll just take a look at the uh, blinking taking place. And so from this camera view and this distant third person view, the blinking's decently convincing. Um, if you're up close in a more realistic game and a first person game, Maybe you'll want to go the animation route and actually deform eyelids, but this technique doesn't do any kind of uh, rigging or animation or any kind of deformation or anything like that. Um, this is a pretty neat little prototype of this little girl who ends up in a fantasy world and rides on the back of this dragon and uh, hadn't quite fleshed it out all the way yet. But technically, we did get the eyelid blinking working. So we use a C-sharp script here, as I said. But one of the key parts to setting up your character with this technique was to create uh, the eyelids in your modeling package. I used Maya, but you can use Blender or 3D Studio Max. And what I did was, is she has her eyes, right? Just normal um, sphere eyes. And then one of the things I did in my modeling package was I duplicated the eye, as you can see here, and I raised it up off of the surface of the eyeball just, if I Z back, just a little bit. It's resting just on top of the eyeball. And then I put a texture of eyelashes and some skin on top of the eyeball. You'll probably want to do a better job blending the uh, skin textures, but it really... The distance I was at with this camera, you can see that you can't really tell at all. So that plays an important role in your camera distance. And so what this script is going to do is it's basically just going to turn on and off this exterior uh, mesh renderer or a game object here and create the blinking. And I applied the script onto the root of my character because we access the eyelid uh, geometry here by dragging and dropping it onto the script All right and I combined the two eyelids as one object just for optimization purposes let's double click this script and open it up and we'll take a look as you can see it's less than 50 lines of code and some of those lines are just some of the uh, inbuilt unity uh, functionality so as you saw, we had a slot here to drag the game object in called blink object. In our code here, this is where we just declare this as a public game object and we call it whatever you want to call it. I call it blink object. You can call it eyelids or uh, anything like that. The public aspect of it is what allows it to publicly show up in the inspector and create this slot that I can drag it into. The public float is the time between the blinks. I just set it to two seconds. And then the private one, you're not going to be setting. This is privatized, so it doesn't show up in the inspector. And it is just the initial stored time. It's just in storing an um, initial value for us to reset to for the blinks. So when the scene first starts and you hit the play in the start method here, we just ask if the blink object is null. And if it isn't, I mean, if it is null, we throw a debug log error which will pop up this red uh, warning in the console and print out a message. Um, this message just here is I've done a fresh install of Windows and everything and I'm set to the Xbox Windows Universal platform and I don't have the updated .NET for that installed so that's just for Xbox functionality, just me personally not having it installed. Um, and so if the blink object is null it'll give you this message and say please assign the eyelids. Um, if it's not null, then we're going to set it to false, which just means um, this blink object will get turned off like that. So her eyes will be open when the scene starts. And then we're going to say that that initial stored time that was privatized here, 
we're going to say that equals the time between blinks. So we're going to store this starting value so we can reset it later. Then in update, which is the method that's running every single frame of your game, we're going to say that that time between blinks is going to be deduced by the frame time, time dot delta time, the frame, the time between your frames in your game. We're going to reduce that. So as that's being deduced from our initial value of two, two seconds from the time every frame, when it's less than or equal to zero, and assuming that it's not null, we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn the eyelids um, game object back on like this. Okay? Then we're going to start a coroutine, which is going to not run every single update of your game, but it's going to run at a specified amount of time, right? And we're not defining that amount of time. We could actually set that here and it would say start that coroutine in this amount of time and we could pass that down to this um, coroutine down here, which is this, IE numerator reset blink, okay? And we're just gonna say yield return new wait for seconds 0.15 of a second, almost one fourth of a second, not quite. Um, all this is doing is saying delay this amount of time. So when it calls this coroutine to reset the uh, the game object, it's going to wait this amount of time before it goes down here and executes this. And if it's not null, we're going to turn that game object off, right? Because we turned it on up here above the coroutine, so we're going to turn it off here. So when the blink object set active true is on, her eyes are closed. When the blink object set active false is false, um, her eyes are open because um, it's not active. It's disabled. It's basically doing this. This is set active. That's what doing it in the inspector is. And then um, we can remove this. And then we just reset um, the default value again. That, that time between blinks that we set for two uh, was stored as the initial time. And then we're going to reduce a value between negative one and one. That's a random range. So this is where that randomization based on your initial value of two, that's why we're creating this initial stored time, we're going to say randomize that when we reset the blink and make sure it's only randomized uh, a little bit between negative one and one, right? We don't want ridiculously long values because people don't keep their eyelids open for, well, some people probably do, but you wouldn't keep them open for several minutes without blinking. And then that's basically the core of the script. That's exactly what it's doing, all 50 lines of this code. Just basically turning this eyelids op game object on and off and then randomizing it. And we'll just hit play and go back in here and take a look at it again. And you can see actually what the time between blinks is doing. It's randomizing that time between her blinks. So we could make her blink really fast and just set that to one. And she's going to blink a lot quicker, but that might work for your game. It doesn't actually, if you look in there, it doesn't actually look that unnatural. It looks a little crazy, um, possibly. Uh, we could stick with two. I like that. You could go with a three, and she would have probably a more believable time between her blinks. That actually looks really natural. So there you go. I promise to keep this tutorial semi-short, and we've been under 10 minutes here, which I think is pretty good. This is one way to have your character blink in your game. Uh, if you have any questions or anything about extending this or using it on your own characters or issues, please just comment down in the comment section there, and I usually respond. All right, and thank you for watching.